first thing I want to analyze is Antonio's decision to steal the bicycle. Um, as Antonio paces back and forth, take note of the pole that stands between him, the door, and the bicycle. This represents the fine line that he decides to cross when he steals the bicycle. On the right side, he the side commentary commonly attributed to good, he is still battling his morals. On the left side of the pole, he has made the decision to attributed to evil. Accompanied by the shouts of the men chasing him, mainly, um, Victor De Sica, the director, is able to capture the chaos of a situation. Um, dire moment, and then as the dolly passed Bruno, it makes it seem like uh, the Anius is zipping by and we're there chasing after his father. And the cutaways to Bruno, uh, that's when we're able to really see the help cyst that fills his body as his father is taken down. Um, the sequence of shots and reverse shots between his father and Bruno uh, really shows how emotional the situation is and how helpless Bruno is. Um, and if you look carefully, uh, well, you don't really have to look that hard, you can see that the other doesn't match the movement of the actor's lips, and this is a result of post dubbing of sound, which was a necessity of the Italian neoclassic era. Uh, since it was commonly shot on location, in the streets of Italy in this case, it was nearly impossible to eliminate all the sounds you didn't want and uh, be able to clearly capture the idea you wanted. Um, and this is really apparent when he's hitting his hat and he's yelling papa, uh, papa, papa in this situation. Thanks for watching and drive safe and hope you enjoy your night or morning or whenever you're creating this, I guess.